Good morning, big boy. I found him waiting at the spot this morning. I just put his corn, cleaned his buckets, then put the corn, fresh water. Bucky's so funny. Yippee. Yeah. Now I'm giving him his peanuts, the mixed peanuts. Right, my beautiful boy? His hair dried up, his whole head dried up, everything. I don't see Thumper. You hear the birds? Fuck, they're all singing this morning. It's a beautiful day. It feels like fall this morning again, I could say. It's beautiful outside. Nice fresh air, the birds are singing. This one's enjoying his peanuts. I'm shocked. I don't see no chipmunks right now. I wonder if the hawk was around. Because now I know why the little ones don't come around. Yesterday I heard a, I heard a hawk in the afternoon. And it sounded so loud. It sounded like it was on the trees close by. And I didn't see none of the little ones. So I wonder if this morning, like before I got here, if there was a hawk. Because I don't see none of the little ones. He's eating his peanuts. Yeah, he knows when the chipmunks are not around. He's probably like, let me hurry up and clean them up. And he's eating all the almonds. He loves almonds. Well, he left a couple, actually. In a few minutes, he's going to go for the A's. The apples. Oh, I should have never said the word, maybe. Do you want it? And you got something on your face. You got something on your face. I see the rest of the peanuts. He's in the rest of his peanuts. My father-in-law is a couple feet behind us. He's watering the plants. So that's why if you see Buck looking all that, but he's calm because he knows him. Who's that, Nona? Who's that, Nona? Who's that, Buck? Is that, Nona? Some of the water is going to go into the forest. All the little ones will be taking sips. There you go. Eat those three first. That's my good boy. He's such a good boy. He's so gentle with me. Like he's so, I can't. I love you, Buck. I really do. You're my good boy. Yeah. He wags his tail every time I got the apples. Look at these pointy sharp thingies. Right? You're so pointy. Yeah, I got more apples. There you go. These are little slices now. It was like a little apple, so the slices are so little. That's why I'm gonna give him like four slices at one time. You got more peanuts, I mean more. But now he's finishing the peanuts. Here, you got more apples. There you go. You want me to put it in your corn bucket? He wants it in the corn bucket. Okay. Okay, put it in the corn bucket. All right. Yeah, when he starts looking at his bucket, that's how I know he wants the apples in there. Or like whatever fruit I'm serving him, like I'm giving him. When he starts staring at the bucket, he gives me the hint. Like, okay, mom, put it in the bucket. Oh, I'm so happy his whole body dried up. When I was touching his face, it felt dry too. So it's good because for the last few days, it was like raining on and off throughout the day. So at least now he dried up. The dirt looks like it's drying up, which is good because then all the animals can lay down, like on the ground. And relax. Everything's drying up. And it's beautiful out. 
Right now it feels like it's probably like 68 degrees, 69 I would say, something like that. Like it's cool outside, but it's actually, if you stand like where the sun shines on you, it's actually a little bit like a little bit warm. Like it's nice out. And I could tell Buck is enjoying this weather too. Alright big boy, you enjoying this weather? This weather's so nice. Yeah, he's eating. That's a blue jay, I think. Louie, is that you? I think that's Louie. I don't know. It's a blue jay, but I don't think it is Louie. Because usually if it was Louie, and I, once I say the name Louie, it literally flies to like trees closer. Like it'll come, it'll fly closer where I can see it. And now it's up in the tree somewhere. I can't see it. Lots of barking. Buck is eating. I'm just listening to all the sounds. Sometimes I wonder if like our dogs could smell like pick up a scent from like in front of the house. Like when they're hanging out, let's say all the way in front of the house. Like I wonder if dogs could pick up like far away scents like that, like the way deers could. Probably not as, you know, strong as a deer scent, but I wonder. Because sometimes, like, when I have my window open in my living room, my dog, like, looks out the window and just starts barking for no reason and nobody's there. And usually it's the times that I got to go feed Buck. So I always wonder, like, I wonder with the wind and stuff, can she pick up his scent from, like, inside the house? Like, you know, through the window. <laughs> I don't know. Well. He's eating. He's really hungry this morning. I'm telling you, Buck's been having a big appetite these past couple of days. Right, big boy? But then you know what happens? Once he goes into rut, it actually slows down. Like, I notice, like, he won't finish all his apples sometimes. And he'll, like, nibble on the corn and just walk away every morning or evening. So I think that's why. I wonder if that's why they eat so much right before they go into rut. Because then they don't get that hungry when they're in rut. He's probably gonna eat all his breakfast corn. Right? You're gonna finish all your best breakfast corn. Which is good because I like when he eats the whole thing. So then I figure nothing goes to waste. Right, Buck? You eat a perfect amount. And I literally give him a scoop with that scooper thing. So it's like a bowl. He's really getting like a bowl, which is probably like, what, a cup and a half of corn. I don't give him like too, too much. Because, you know, too much corn would not be good either for him. So that's why I only give him like literally that bowl size. See, so it's like a bowl, like literally bowl size. And I don't fill it all the way like a mountain. I do it like literally, like perfectly where it's like perfectly full, but not like overly full. Cause I used to do that. And while I was walking to the spot, corn would just like fall out, out of the bowl. I would drop so many kernels like corn that I was like, oh my God. So that's why now I just started filling it up enough where when I walk here to the spot, nothing falls out and it's good. And he gets a perfect amount. Right, big boy? <laughs> He's chewing that corn. All right, guys, I'm gonna sit over here and get comfortable over here. Cause I was like standing the whole time. So now I'm like. You're eating your corn. You're eating your corn. crazy how his fur like you know he's starting to get fluffier and fluffier now and the ears his hairs by his ears are starting to grow it's beautiful how they go through like all those changes with their hair i hear the birds And I don't see Thumper. I thought Thumper would be like close by somehow, but I don't see Thumper anywhere right now. Yeah, I'm gonna say yet. 
Thumper does do surprise pop-ups. I see so many spider webs. I think like September going into October is like spider season. I really do. Because I started seeing like so many big spider webs all around the house, like on bushes. And you see so many spiders now. And in the summer, we didn't, it's like when we needed them, we didn't really hardly see them. I hardly seen like many spiders in the summer, like too many spider webs and stuff like that. I feel like I see more now than in the summer. Oh, he has his eyes closed and he's eating. How cute. He's definitely enjoying his breakfast right now, like everything. You see, he's the good. That's how you know he's so calm right now because he'll keep his head in the bucket for a long time. Like he won't bother taking it out to go look around or anything. That's how I know like when he's just chilling, like he's just so calm. Like nothing is bothering him right now. None of the sounds. It's not noisy. I mean, it's not noisy. We're actually having a great morning. I'm not gonna lie. We're having a great morning. There's no construction going on. No leaf blowing, no nothing. So it's a beautiful morning, I have to say. We're having a good morning. And you see when we have good mornings like this, this is when he actually eats all his food. He enjoys everything. Like now when he's done eating all that corn, what, <laughs> he's definitely gonna clean out the bucket. He's probably gonna gull up, like drink so much water. And then probably just hang out close by because that's what Buck does. Oh, I see a chickmunk. You gotta be the Theodore or Alvin. I didn't watch exactly where he came from. Hi, you coming? I guess you're coming here. Let's see. He's gonna come to check if there's peanuts. <laughs> are you Alvin or Theodore? Which one are you? Easy. You'll find peanuts. Okay. So uh, we'll see when he brings his food back home, the peanuts which way he runs and then I'll know if that's Alvin or Theodore that's how I usually know I gotta keep my eyes on this little one so I can see where he goes home <laughs> let's see and how did that piece of paper get there? there's a piece of paper mm. let's see I guess he's gonna hang out here for a while he's looking for more peanuts Yeah, I guess he's gonna hang out here for a while. Uh, now he's over here shoving. Oh, now he ran. He ran to the right. So that's Theodore. That was Theodore Buck. I know Theodore was trying to eat your peanuts. Buck knows already. Buck is like that little thing. He's trying to clean up the floor. Yep, it was Theodore. Cause I just I just looked to my right and I seen him running the street. That was Theodore. That was Alvin. That's why I always say it. I never know who it is until they bring the food home. <laughs> right, Buck? We never know who it is. What'd you see? I don't see nothing. I don't know what he sees. But he's looking at the house that's like next door to the left. I don't see nothing. Hmm. I don't see nothing, big boy. Look at that fluffy. Your hair is so fluffy. I could tell his hair is a lot fluffier. And that goes back to eating. <laughs> I thought he was going to hang out close by and make me pet him, but he's going back to eating. He wants to finish everything. All right, guys. I'm going to get going. I'm going to make him finish his breakfast. And just hang out here a little bit longer. And then I have... A few things to put in my shed and take out like a couple of bins and stuff like that. I have a few little things to do, projects. And I got to finish that canvas. I'm hoping to finish it today so at least I could post another picture of it. I hope everybody has a great day. Me and Buck, it looks like we're having a great day. He looks good to me. He looks really happy and good. And his stomach looks nice and full now. <laughs> right? That's why you wagged your tail. You excited? He's wagging his tail right now. You keep wagging your tail. You excited? All right, everyone. I'll be back later this evening with Buck. 
and his dinner video. I hope everybody has a great day. It's beautiful out here, so I hope the weather is beautiful by you guys too. All right, everyone. Ciao for now.